Hello everybody, and welcome to our new series, Dave the Diver. This is a game that I saw out on Steam but didn't pick up right away, but once I saw how it had overwhelmingly positive reviews, both in the overall and recent reviews category, I decided to pick it up and I did not regret it. I genuinely enjoyed the game. It's a game that is kind of a little bit difficult to describe. It's kind of a roguelite adventure game with a restaurant management sim added on, kind of. Like I said, difficult to explain, or at least difficult for someone like me who's not good at... Not enunciating, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, well, basically, not that great at putting their words together. Anyways, best way to describe it is to, well, experience it, or at least show you guys that are watching this. Now, as is always the case whenever I start a new series, please let me know down in the comments section if the, uh, any parts of the audio, be it my own from the microphone or from the game, are too loud or too quiet. I do try to fix it in post, but I'm not perfect, especially when it comes to audio balancing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the game. Yes, yes, over at existing game data, start from the beginning. That's what I want. And that right there is our titular hero, Dave the Diver. And that title pretty much tells you everything you need to know about him. His name's Dave, he's a diver. And we basically just got a call from a friend of his about some sushi. Of course, uh, if that's all this game was about, wouldn't be a very long game, now would it? You and I both know there's gonna be a lot more to it than that. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? Yeah, something tells me you're gonna have to be working for that sushi, Dave. <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means... This could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I already took a break from diving. How about warming up? Oh. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. <laughs> mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. As well, you should not. Anyways, not much we can do about it. Also, this episode's probably going to be longer than they're typically going to be. Just because of the fact that there's a lot of tutorial stuff we gotta get through. And a whole lot of talking. Anyways, move on over, dive on in. Oh. 
Nice form. <laughs> All right, how about stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left trigger, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Yes, the oxygen bar in the bottom left corner. Uh, it also doubles as our health bar. As we uh, spend time diving down, it will slowly deplete, as is expected. And um, when it runs out, you want to be escaping from this place. And I say that in the most literal way possible. Because if it runs out... No, oh, you want to be escaping before it runs out. Because if it does run out, well, anything you've collected, except for one item, will be lost. And yeah, like you said, we can swim faster, but it'll deplete our oxygen, well, faster. Now, we're probably not going to encounter them this episode, potentially, but there are fish that will try to kill us in here. As they hit us, our oxygen will deplete even more. Something to bear in mind. Good, looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Thank you. I don't know enough about that to know how fast a freshwater snail is. Probably not very. Now let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Uh, try using the survival knife. I thought you said it was a dive knife. On small fish, you can use the B button. I'm not going to bother wasting it on a fish. We don't actually have to hit a fish. And Honestly, on small fish, it's a waste. Heck, it's a waste to use it on any fish. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? <laughs> harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Mm, looks like you'll need some practice. How long of a vacation were you on, Dave? Now let's try using the harpoon to catch. Let's say three fish. Aim with A and fire with RT. Now try it out for yourself. Now it does enter a semi-bullet time. This area is the entire area that you can aim it in. And no, you don't get a laser sight for it. Anyways, just got a blue tang, aka Dory. Uh, you might notice that there is a star rating next to the fish. I'll get into that a little bit later. Actually, no, I can get into it now. The star rating basically determines how the quality and basically the amount of meat that you get from the fish. One star basically means you killed it before capturing it and you're gonna get basically just one hunk of meat from it, which is a waste. So you really don't wanna kill these fish. Two star means you successfully caught them at the time, alive with the harpoon, so you're gonna get a decent amount of meat from them. Three stars means that you caught them entirely alive. There are means to doing that, but it's gonna be a while before we find those means. Anyways, uh, oh, and you get a lot of meat from them, and later on something else. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Cause I'll say this, this game throws a lot of new stuff at you, just back to back to back. You'd think that would overwhelm, but it actually works. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Come on, I can't not make the joke. Dave, you love sushi, right? Mm -hmm. well, for sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Aha, well listen up, I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Sushi sold here is made from the fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm craving it already. <laughs> I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? What happens if I decline? Um, I don't really have any money on me. I don't think I can pay. Mm, that reminds me. I just remembered that a while ago, you broke my underwater drone. Your power cost would be it was about 500 gold, but I didn't charge you for it. Um, it broke after five seconds of use. It was broken already, wasn't it? Uh, what do you mean? It, it was totally fine. Well, okay, so what should I do? It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. 
Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha <laughs> ha Yep. Classic case of, but thou must. No matter what you do, he's gonna... He's gonna make you join in on the venture. Hey, Boncho, are we all ready to open? Oh, and if you accept, he says, yeah. Dave basically goes, yeah, I can eat all the sushi I want. And Kohler goes, yeah, sure. And then under his breath goes, as long as you pay for it. Anyways, hey, Boncho, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready. Just in time. Mm. Oh, it's already finished? Mm. You. You are the fisherman Cobra was talking about? Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Mm. Alright. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. Mm. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Mm. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Mm. Hmm. Just as mediocre as expected. Mm. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty of Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. An earthquake? Hmm. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to re cover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Oh, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm? Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best food possible with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. And that is, for the time being, the current cycle of the game. In the morning, dive in to grab some fish. In the evening, serve it at the sushi bar. Seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Uh, well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Yeah, and as you can see, we are a hundred gold in the hole. We need to get some things. Anyways, we do have some of this stuff for the game, uh, for, I guess, buying digital deluxe version? I can't remember if I had one. I actually don't remember what version I bought. Well, whatever. Anyways, nothing else to it. Let's dive on in. Now, we are only required to catch seven fish. We can, however, catch more than that, and I would highly recommend you try and catch as many fish as you can. You see, just below the, or right next to it, we have a depth meter, which is going to be important. And underneath that depth meter, we have a weight. Obviously, every fish has a certain amount of weight, and we can only carry so much. So, try to catch as many as you can. Unless you have no choice, don't bother catching any of the, uh... Or grabbing any dead fish. Because it weighs the same as a... Two-star fish, I'm not sure I would call it alive. But you don't get as much meat. Now, we can only dive so far for now. 
Yep, we are already hitting the limits. Okay, that is a little mini game that shows up when you're not quite strong enough to catch the fish in one shot, but you have a chance to catch it. What I'm saying is basically it has one HP left over. Also, something to bear in mind. If you try to catch a fish that's too close to a wall, the harpoon will bounce off and the fish will get away. Ooh. And that right there is a moray eel. We're not going to bother with them for now. And much like everything else, it's going to take a while. Uh, also, didn't bring it up, but there was this kajime plant that we could catch right here. Uh, noted, we cannot catch these shrimp. Yet. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that can open up for us at a time. <clears throat> but it won't be until later that we can do it. Like this purple sea urchin. Ah, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. And if you try it again, you take damage. So that was your one freebie. Also, there are resources that we can collect. You also want to collect these. For something that we will get later. <coughs> Whoops. Shoot. Did not notice. Because I was busy coughing. Okay, then. You know, ooh, here's something else. Oxygen cans. Look like these, we fill your oxygen. Simple as that. Whoops. Completely skipped over that because I was button mashing, but basically what it's saying is that you have a weight limit. When you get over your weight limit, you slow down a lot. That's not to say you can't go over it, period. You can. But if you go any further over it, you might get caught. Or might get stuck and can't return. Now then, I'm just going to pause this so that we don't have the oxygen taken down. But there are multiple containers we can collect. We've already seen the oxygen can, which refills our oxygen. Uh, we have these cooking pots through which we can get various ingredients. There's also these yellow utility crates. Actually, I'm just going to call them pelican cases because they look a lot like pelican cases. And we can get various weapons. Sleepy Toy Hammer. This is kind of meant to be a joke thing, but if you get lucky enough with it, you can knock out a fish and catch them at three star rank. Assuming you can catch them. But because of the fact that I'm overweight, and no, I'm not talking about Dave's general physique, um, I'm not gonna be able to. All right, let's return to the boat. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> yeah, don't expect to be making a ton right away. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Ah, what a beautiful night sky. Something you don't really get in the city anymore. Well, period. Something you can only really enjoy by going out into the world. But yeah, anyways, look at this. We definitely did not catch 12 blue tangs, but we got 12 units of meat. Something to bear in mind. The amount of fish is not going to equal the amount of meat that you get. See, if you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Press the end to organize. By the way, you'll only, able to be, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Yeah, yeah. Don't you worry. Bancho, our preparation's coming along. Hmm. I think we're mostly set. Well, that's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to, you're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. 
What? I... I don't understand. <laughs> Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon, and I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Alright, now I'll show you how to register actual items from the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Regular fish dish. Uh, let's toss in the blue tang. We're not gonna go for the maximum, I will tell you why in a moment. That probably was- alright, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto-supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you cut to fill out the menu as much as you can. Right. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Do not put too many of these on the menu. And let's set this to auto supply. The reason being is... Well, actually, no, the game's going to explain that right now. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Tch, I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Let's see, pour the right amount. Sometimes customer orders drinks. Pour, uh, use right stick to pour green tea to just the right amount. And just the right amount is that line right there with the arrow pointing at it. But you gotta time this properly. Once you start pouring, you cannot stop... Well, let me rephrase that. Once you stop pouring, you cannot start again. Customers who drink tea, green tea of good or higher grade will pay more. <laughs> As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eet, perhaps? <laughs> Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Yeah, all we can do right now is just wait until he finishes cooking. It can take a little bit. But once he's done, come over to where I am and take this food. Grab it. You can use dash when serving food. Use LT to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Yeah, Dave being Dave ain't all that, um, quick on his feet. Or has a lot of stamina. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Mm. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Mm. The food. Can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Pancho <laughs> Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Why don't you just eat it, Dave? Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. I don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. And what he said right there, that they don't put food on the table for a customer twice. Basically, any food that is not eaten will be thrown out. What do I mean by this? Well, here's the thing. All of this is basically fish that has already been prepared. And as it says right up top, remaining menu will be discarded as the restaurant closes. <clears throat> so, especially in the early game, don't put too much on here. Using the auto supply to take care of things will help out. Now, I will say this. Customers will order based upon tastiness. If there is a dish on the menu that is of a higher tastiness than another, they will order based upon that. So, be careful if you're trying to uh, sell things based on the highest price stuff. Because the highest price stuff isn't always going to be the tastiest stuff. And if you have something tastier that's set to auto supply, then they're gonna pick that over the dish that is not and is more pricey. Thus, you may end up losing out. Now, as I stated, early on, auto supply is very helpful, but once you get a lot of dishes going, 
I'm not going to recommend it for the reasons I just explained. Anyways, for now, this is going to be good. I'll say this, early on, you're not going to have a lot of customers, so don't put a lot of food out. Use the auto supply. I know I sound like a broken record, but that is how it is. Anyways, let's open up. This should be good for tonight. Well, she wants some green tea. And you're going to want to try to remember the order in which somebody ordered something. He will cook them in the order that they were ordered. Oh, and we also need to clean up at times. Oh, and they don't go over this, but see the wasabi at the end? That's what this is. You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. Yeah, I wasn't expecting us to get the, uh, money we need to fix this place up on the first night. Five star day. And we got five artisan flames. It's not something we can use yet. But it will be very, very important to us, and you want to try and get as many five stars as possible. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. I see. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Well, I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Well, that's not a good sign. Hm. Who's this? Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm. I've got a reward, but... If you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Yeah, boy. Well, she's got a reward for us. You can use your smartphone to access various types of content, check your current missions, and more. And yeah, we can access the settings from here. Originally, we could only hit the settings. And there's a bunch of stuff... That, uh, we have yet to unlock. And it's going to take a bit to get through them all. 
part of that. Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years that we've known each other. Mm -hmm. I was having fun diving back then near Richiel... Richelieu Rock? I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> you suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. Ha ha ha! I thought it was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer, and there were important blueprints in the suitcase. Now, luckily, you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindemann without the blueprints. Hans Lindemann? Oh, I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed that there was a previous game by the name of... I think it was... Weapons Factory? There was a character by the name of... I believe it went by Cobra? That, uh... Sold you blueprints for various weapons. That's basically just confirmation that that is him. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive on in. See if we can uh, help with the ecological data. Now, something that I am very grateful that they do is that if you are ever near an item that is part of a side quest, they will actually mark it with a marker. So that, you know, you don't miss it, because some of the stuff can be very small or hidden behind various objects. Uh-oh. That's, uh, that's an enemy we don't want to be dealing with right now. Anyways, we do still have a decent amount of fish from yesterday, but it's never a bad, 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 bad idea to catch more. Because we are always going to be in need of fish, and if we don't take some time to catch some more, then we're going to run out. Pelican case. With a cheap Japanese sword. Alright. was aiming for, but I'll take it. Fish is fish for now. Let's see. If I can find the red agar and the starfish... That is a puffer fish. Whenever you get close to it, it will puff itself up and you can't, basically can't do anything to it. Another pelican case. Let's see what we can get. Yeah. Now, when it does start blinking like that, we're not in danger immediately. It is only when it says critical depth that we are in danger. Because once you hit critical depth, you will start losing a lot of oxygen quickly. Is that... That's red agar. Ooh, and it looks like there's some more up top. Perfect. Also, this is an ingredient we can use. Now we just need one more red starfish, and then we'll get to go on the side quest. Ooh, an O2 bottle. It only refills half of your oxygen gauge, though. So bear that in mind. gonna grab all this up because we are gonna need it okay we've got all we need for the side quest now let's fill our inventory with as many fish and ingredients as we can I don't think we've reached the point where we can make anything more than simple sushi at the moment but it wouldn't be too far off from now Oof. That's a big fish, but, uh, can't really cat. Well, technically we could, but I don't think I've got the carrying capacity for that thing. Let's just check this out. Ooh. An underwater scooter allows you to move more, qu move quickly underwater. Can't be used once the battery runs out. Okay. 
Okay, let's just fill up our inventory with some fish. And then get out of here. And the scooter does help us move a little bit quicker. Or basically get back to regular speed. Once we're overweight. One more fish couldn't hurt. Okay, now let's really get out of here. Now, I will say this. For the time being, returning to the surface is really the only way we can get out. But... Once we... Are able to dive deeper, because we will. Because otherwise, it would be a very short game if we could only explore about 40 meters deep. Heck, not even that. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. 70 gold, 5 olive oil, and 5 soy sauce. Nice. And that also gets us the cash we need to repair Boncho's sushi. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold! Great job, that should be enough to repair what's broken. Uh, then give me some time, these repairs need to be done right. Well, I really hope the customers keep coming. But, seeing as how we got nothing else to do... Uh, Dave, did you get loosened up yesterday? Or did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Mm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Mm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Uh, perhaps something puts them on edge? Uh, speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? Mm. A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Mm. People who live in glass houses. Yeah, basement dwell in otaku. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Mm, season 2 of Stra Stra Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Actually, I... Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it change every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make, a, make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest. As a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will essentially- this will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so I'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Heh. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap oh. iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. Oh. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Yeah, I already said that. Wow, we have neither rope nor scrap iron. Could have sworn we at least collected one of those. Oh well. At least we got something to do down in there besides collecting more fish. Of course, we're still going to want to collect fish while we're down here. It's just that rope and some scrap iron will take priority. Well, it's not rope or scrap iron, but we are going to need this. Just avoid the jellyfish. Can't really do anything to them anyways. Hey, I found Nemo. 
I, I had to make that joke. Ah, there's some rope. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting to see these until we went even deeper, but this is an escape pod. And this is how you're gonna get out of the giant blue hole? Uh, when you get to deeper depths. Because it's just horribly inefficient to try and getting... To try getting out of here using only going to the surface. Especially considering how deep we actually do go. Ooh, one of these guys. Well, two of them, I should say. Red Tooth Triggerfish. Okay, might as well grab some extra rope, because we're never going to need just one of every ingredient. Yeah, can't do anything about that uh, moray eel there. Yet, is what I'm saying about a lot of this stuff. Like I said before, this game gives you a lot of stuff to unlock. Ah, there's some scrap iron. Not what I was aiming for, but okay. Titan Triggerfish. Let's just get out of here. Or is that a Titan Triggerfish? I know it's Titan something. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as calling as the calling process takes some time. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Mm. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. Yeah, we're open scrap iron. Scrap iron, I get. The rope, not so much. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Open the Weapon Shop app. And from here, we can craft the basic underwater rifle. We've collected all the materials. Good. Let's try and create a new weapon. And that right there is the other reason I genuinely love this game, is the over-the-top, humorous cutscenes. Equip the weapon? Yes, indeed. It's the only weapon we've got, anyways. Heh. Okay. <laughs> With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Okay. Well, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Okay. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Oh. Wow, weapon chests? Yeah. You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Yeah. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Okay. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. Alright. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Weapons can be crafted multiple times, and there is a reason for that. Alright, I'd say we've got more than enough. However, we are basically out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna end things off there for today. I might stick with the 45 minute format, it seems fitting for this one, get through a couple days. Might change over time, I'm not sure yet. But anyways, if you like what you see, click that like button, subscribe for future content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.